Hello Everybody, a Kinder Surprise is probably the most desirable sweet for any children that you can buy in the supermarket. Although I don't think that any adults would turn it down either. So let's open up the Kinder. In fact, it's just an egg made with chocolate, rather of two types, milk and white. And inside it has a yellow capsule that you can find a toy in when you open it. Maybe it just seems like it to me, but these toys were much more interesting in my childhood. Over the past six months, I've been thinking in detail about how to make a giant Kinder Surprise so that it turns out to be perfect, just like a factory made one. And finally, I came up with it. Please give this video your likes in advance and now let's start. Have you ever wondered how chocolate was made? There are whole plantations where cocoa fruits are grown. We bought four of these ripe fruits. They are very large and cumbersome. We break it into two parts and we see the white seeds inside. These are ripe cocoa beans, but to turn them into chocolate, they need to be processed for a long time. We transfer them to a wooden barrel. And we cover them with saran wrap. The beans will be in this barrel for seven days and fermented. Well, it's time to retrieve them. Excellent. Our cocoa beans have been fermented and smell pleasantly like vinegar. We take a dryer like this and put all our beans in it. We set it to 40 degrees and turn it on. That way they continue drying for another seven days. A week has passed and the cocoa beans are dehydrated. But to make a giant kinder, this is definitely not enough. So I bought some more dry cocoa beans. They look exactly like ours. These beans are raw. So we go outside and pour two bags of beans into the cauldron. We still need to chop wood. Let's open the stove and put some crumpled paper and small firewood into it. Kindle the fire. When it is flared up, we begin to mix the cocoa beans. That way they fry more evenly. After about 10 minutes of roasting, they begin to smell very tasty. Therefore, about five more minutes and you can check. The husks should easily come off the roasted cocoa beans. We remove them from the fire. The roasting stage has been passed. Now we take another bowl. We remove the shell from each cocoa bean. We break the core. And transfer to the second bowl. We get these kind of cocoa nibs. We use this as the main raw material for making milk chocolate. We also bought a box like this. We open it. And inside we see a lot of cocoa butter. It looks and feels like an all-in-one laundry soap. So that it can be quickly melted later, we set it up with a knife. This is a very sticky process. Two hours later, we got a whole basin of finely crushed cocoa butter. In order to properly make chocolate, you need a machine called melanger. In fact, this is an electric mill with such stone millstones. We grind cocoa nibs, milk powder, sugar, and cocoa butter into it. We collect a kilogram of cocoa nibs and pour it into the melanger. A full glass of powdered milk. A glass of sugar and turn it on. All the ingredients are mixed and gradually ground into a more delicate powder. Add some cocoa butter. It will gradually warm up from friction and the mass will become. And now it just takes time. The grains will become smaller and smaller. In the meantime, let's turn on another machine called Marmite. It will heat the chocolate so that it remains a liquid. Fill it with water up to the maximum. We set it on two and turn it on. Two hours have passed. The chocolate has become even thinner. To make it taste familiar to us, we add vanilla extract. 
And in factory chocolate, a powder called soy lectogen is used. We need to add quite a lot of it. It is completely harmless, and it is only made to use to make the chocolate more liquidy. The chocolate has been three hours in Millinger. We turn it off, and we pour it into the gastric capacity. The first portion of natural milk chocolate is ready. We put the tray into the Marmite so that the chocolate doesn't freeze. Now we load the next batch. This time, for the melon to grind the cocoa nibs faster, we pour it in gradually. Then gradually pour in cocoa butter. When the mass has become a liquid, gradually it's sugar. milk powder, and other additives. We wait another two and a half hours and pour the chocolate into our tray. And for the third time, we add more powdered milk and four hours of stirring. It turned out very nice, perfectly glossy milk chocolate. We also transfuse it. It took us two days to fill the tray to the brim. We mix all of these things together. And we're done. The next stage is tempering. You may ask, why is this necessary? I'll show you an example of two tiles. We filled one with melted chocolate and the second with tempered. After solidification, we take them out. And the one that is just melted melts very quickly remaining in your hands. But the tempered chocolate is glossy. To it, cocoa butter crystals are combined into a strong crystal lattice. Therefore, when you break it, there's a crunch. In order to temper a large volume of chocolate, we increase the heating. And constantly stirring, we heat the chocolate to 45 degrees. We get the tray out. And let's go outside. We put it onto a cold tile. Constantly stirring. Literally in 15 minutes, the chocolate should cool down to exactly 25 degrees. That said, we return the chocolate back to the heat and heat it up to 31 degrees. This is the end of tempering. We will pour chocolate into such large egg halves. I ordered these forms six months ago at a factory in America, and now they have arrived. These forms cost 20,000 grivnas or 54,000 rubles. So we open the alcohol, pour it into the mold, and rub it around with a napkin. So that way it'll be perfectly clean and the chocolate will shine. Done. Now we've sent the forms to the freezer for one hour. They should be cool completely. Now that the molds are icy, we scoop up the chocolate, pour it into the mold, and distribute evenly. The chocolate seizes instantly. Fill it as we evenly as possible so that there are even walls of the same thickness everywhere. We drain the excess chocolate back in. One more time, we put it into the freezer. And we fell in the forms again. And one more go around. The forms are always very heavy and you can't twist them in your hands. Therefore, we pour the chocolate along the walls and smear it around with a spatula. That way, we filled up all the milk chocolate. But there is also a white one in Kinder. So let's do that. 
We need cocoa butter, milk powder, sugar, and soy lecithin. And of course, a Mellinger. We collect a full measuring cup of cocoa butter. We turn on the Mellinger and begin to pour in very gradually. There is literally a third of a teaspoon of soy lecithin. We collect 700 grams of sugar and gradually pour it in. Well, we've got a full measuring cup of powdered milk. And now it just takes time. Grains of powdered milk and sugar will decrease and interfere with the butter. The correct consistency will be happening in two hours later. Pour our homemade white chocolate into the Marmite. We cooked white chocolate for 15 hours. And we also temper it. And we also pour that into the mold the same way. It's smeared around with a spatula. We poured white chocolate in one very long approach. While you were smearing one form, the second one is time to freeze, so you can change them around like that. Now the chocolate egg halves are ready. Let's make an integral part of the kit of surprise, namely the yellow capsule. To do this, we bought a plastic barrel for 20 liters. We bend the fastenings for the handle and remove them. The barrel is shaped like a capsule, but not in color. Therefore, we unscrew it from the lid and take it to a safe place for painting. Shake the cans with spray paint and cover the barrel with yellow. We completely painted it in three approaches. Now we've got a big yellow capsule like that. In my opinion, it kind of looks like the original. What kind of gift will we put inside? I thought everything out in advance and I bought a big Bluetooth speaker on the internet. We open it up and put it inside. As well as wires and instructions. That's it, you can close it. We put our surprise in one of the Kinder halves. We take out the second one. Perfect. At first, we just melted the edge of the chocolate with a burner and tried to install the second half of the egg on top. But they did not dock and there were very large gaps. Therefore, we take out the other half. With a knife, we cut off the uneven edge. And try it again. This way it worked out more or less pretty smooth. And to glue these two halves together, we pass some white chocolate along the joint. Now our Kinder is ready. But what kind of Kinder would it be without colorful packaging? To make that, we take the molds again and line the foil on top of them, gluing each layer with double-sided tape. Next, you need acrylic paints, rollers, brushes, and pencils. First, you need to make a red and white background. And then we apply multicolored inscriptions. In my opinion, it turned out really nice. So we put the lower part of the wrapper on the floor, carefully lower our kinder into it, and together with the foil, we lift it back up. We put the other half of the package on top. We connect the planes, and fix it with a stapler. With scissors, cut off the excess foil. And gently bend the edge.
Now we just have to paint the gaps. And this giant Kinder Surprise is completely ready. It turns out very nice and beautiful. This time we repeated it almost one on one. Taking into account the forms, the machine for making chocolate products, it cost us 50,000 grivnias. This is 136,000 rubles, and it took us five days to prepare it. So answer me one question. Who will experience the most joy when they see this huge kinder? Of course it is children. Therefore, we mask it with a golden cloth, load it into the car, and take it to the mother and child's house. The children were very happy and just tore up at this Kinder Surprise. <laughs> By the way, apparently they were also really happy with the surprise. All right, you guys, write in the comments. Banzai, prepare a giant and choose what? A Milky Way bar, Mars, or Mentos? Be sure to share this video with your friends. Put likes, subscribe to the channel, and click on the playlist. There's still a lot of huge food. Bye, everybody.